This is... Wait, we should establish, like, what we want to talk about. What are the bullet points we need to hit here? I I got it. I got it. Okay, so we tell them that the show is called Do You Want to Make a Podcast? It is a fireside chat between two best friends who are on the hunt to create the perfect podcast. They have a lot of ideas, and they can't decide what they want to talk about. Okay. That's pretty much it. That's it. We that's 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 the synopsis. Like, then we'll then we'll plug the do we social want to media. Do like social media. Yeah, stuff? yeah, yeah. So so we'll tell them to follow us at Do You Want to Pod, all spelled out. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also email us at Do You Want to Make a Podcast at Gmail That's it. That works for me. Wait, I think we just did it. We did it. That was my that was my plan all along. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Except hello, because now the show's starting. Yes, it is. It has begun. Is that the cue? <laughs> yes, <laughs> there's, it's happening. It, there's no like. I'm just. We just kind of hit the thing and, and we go. And, and you edit this later, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. I like keeping in the times where we say, "Oh, we'll cut that or we'll edit that out" because it gives that like. And then when you don't, and it shows up still, you're yeah, like, it's oh, funny. Me. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> We're joined by uh, Tom Jurgani today. This is uh, the second of a three-part series I call My Oldest Friends in the World. We had Peach on last week. We got the Smodge Man is, on this week. Is that what he went by? Did, the we, Peach did Man? we refer to him as Peach Man? I don't know if I called him Peach. I think I called him Mike. You might have called him Peach like you did like Mike, once. Mike Peach. GM Petro. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Tom Dragani, otherwise known as Smodge is live in the house and I love it. I brought a game. Yes, he did. <laughs> I brought, <laughs> this is my contribution is going to be a game. I love it. I love games. I'm ready. I'm what a big you, game fan. What do you need from us? Oh, but before should, we start, I, we should we should I mean, we should we should ask the question. Say, ask the question. Get your consent. Uh, would you Tom, would you like to make a podcast? Yes, I would. Jim Bloss? Yes. And I'm Joe Godley and I would also like to make a podcast. We're here. All right. So what so I I I love games. So. Okay, th- so the only thing I need from you guys really is just your brains and your sense of humor. I can do I that. I think um, we can provide so I th- I that. Think I'm, I, I think I only brought today I only brought my sense of humor. I think I came to the right <laughs> place. I never bring my brain. So, here we go. All right. So, you know how throughout history um most the most terrible people have gone by um full names yeah oh like lee harvey oswald john hinckley jr uh s truett kathy okay (laughs) so um we're gonna uh we're gonna play a game where i made up some names that are three names long and i want you guys to tell me what they are going to jail for all right i like this game i can get on board with this game (laughs) Uh, th- these are names that I'm... You're going to recognize the names, but they're oh. partially made up. So I think we should start with one that's pretty topical because he's being talked about right now. Oh, no. Um, he's in trouble and he should be locked up and he should have gone to jail a long time ago. Okay. Uh, but my first name on my list is R. Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Kelly- <laughs> what is R. Kelly Clarkson going to jail for? R. Kelly Clarkson is going to jail for... Uh, He's been selling a lot of knockoff Clark's shoes. Oh, okay. I like you know? It. I like it. Because he claimed to be Clark's son. Yeah, Clark's son. Uh, but really, it's it's just like he's taken like Crocs and like glued these heels uh-huh. onto the bottom of them. Uh-huh. So there's these really god-off ugly shoes. And the funny part is he's not going to jail because he was branding it wrong. He's going to jail because these things are so fucking ugly. Just these Crocs with like <laughs> the, spike the fashion underneath. police came. The fashion police yes. came and got yeah 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 R. Kelly Clark's son. Now here's here's a wrinkle. What if R. Kelly Clarkson was actually a female? Uh, still still had ugly shoes. Still gross shoes. Still terrible. Doesn't shoes. change. <laughs> yeah. I I don't think. Although I if if you I don't know what would be more attractive to me seeing a grown man wear Crocs and spike heels. Or a lady wearing Crocs and spike heels. It's 
Wait, what was the question? You don't know what would be more attractive? What, what would yeah, like which which one would I be less likely to send to jail? Like if if R. Kelly Clarkson was modeling the shoes, okay. you know, because like because there are like this is the thing about fashion, right? Like when I used to work in catering these high end fashion events, people would wear the ugliest things out, and they'd be like, and other folks would pay thousands of dollars for them because they trick themselves into thinking it's art yeah 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 it's art or it's fashion well, so I mean, it's like this could actually work though yeah, these ever, like abomination of crops you ever go to fashion week and be like like fashion week is not functional week fair you know what i well, mean well put thank you it's like it's but it's it just brings me back to zoolander where you watch zoolander you're like oh ha 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 but that's not a stretch at all like that's exactly how this stuff goes what is this a center for ants <laughs> <laughs> I'm just quoting. That didn't Zoolander. answer your question. I just wanted to bring up Zoolander T. Oh, that's okay. We're we're riffing off of this stuff. We are. Uh, all right. So R. Kelly Clarkson's going to jail for bad fashion. All right. How about Casey Anthony Kiedis? You want to take this one, Jim? So, oh jeez, <laughs> oh jeez. I love this geez. game. It's a it's a good game, but also dicey <laughs> because I hear the first half of the name and I'm like, oh bad. And then I hear the second half of the name, and I'm like trying to think of the pop who Kiedis is. Well, I'll I'll I'll, I'll let or you. Is know. that a, is that a real is that a real person? Yeah, Anthony Kiedis is the lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, I wasn't right. gonna get that one. Okay, wasn't gonna get yeah. that one. Yeah, I'm sorry if some of these might be. Uh, no, it's good. No, 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 it's lost good. references. I, the, but the, the the issue is I shouldn't. You know. You shouldn't what? I shouldn't try and figure it out. I should just come up with a ridiculous crime. Yeah. Right. Such as murdering music. Ooh, very good. <laughs> murdering music. Right. So th- that's where I was hoping this would go. Casey Anthony Kiedis took uh, Bjork songs and tried making them like he tried subliming them up. Oh, like reggaeing them. Okay. What? Yeah. What? It was disgusting. What a and music then, crime! And Someone then, call the music police. And <laughs> then using them to brainwash mm-hmm. children. Mm-hmm. Brainwash them into what? You said brainwashing children, right? Brainwashing children. Into what? Or making shoes. Making, making shoes. Sh- <laughs> making shoes. <laughs> making shoes for R. Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. There we go. Awesome. There we go. I think hey, we, so we can it. link each one of these this together. I think we're stumbling on a crime ring here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, let's keep we're going. We're stumbling all on right, a, all right, all right, yeah. a big time crime ring. Okay, let's so add this on. This person is very creative and very crafty and very uh, homey. So they might have something to do with this fashion crime syndicate uh how about martha stewart copeland martha stewart <laughs> copeland oh so so th- this was the this was the homemaker of this crime ring we had a music criminal uh-huh and uh and a fashion criminal now we have the homemaker criminal but uh copeland misty copeland so we have she was she was planning out she was choreographing uh-huh. <laughs> these crimes uh-huh so I think oh, is it Martha Stewart Copeland. She's the mastermind. She's the mastermind. The okay. master Martha. She she might she all right. She go she goes into people's homes. Yeah. And redecorates and sells them on this big redecoration thing, and she steals their shoes and their children. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And yes. Yes. And also insider trading. That's what Martha Stewart. Yeah. No, I know. I know. I'm just for. trying to how to link it. How to. She she she's the she's the she's the feeder. She gets all the products. She, yeah, the children and the, the children and the shoes. And the shoes. <laughs> yeah, finds the ugliest shoes in people's houses. She's like, I'm going to get rid of these because you need to upgrade your wardrobe. And maybe she ends up selling those shoes back to the very people she stole them from. Right. It's like and in, they have no idea. Have it's no it's idea like in Fight Club. Yep. When they're when, take the they take the fat, make it so and sell it back. Sell to it them. on back to the rich. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. <laughs> yes, it is. Great movie. Is it great? It most definitely is. Yeah. Every time I watch Fight Club, there's something I didn't notice before. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's that's you know that's, that's true. A lot of re. It is the most rewatch value of any movie I've rewatched. Really. To this day, I can't think of a more re like other than like nostalgic rewatch value. I'm yeah. talking like rewatching this movie and truly getting something new. Hmm. Probably Fight Club. I guess it might be one of the because actually you know, it's kind of weird like you know how people. If you're on the internet, there's some people that are kind of like think it's the most ridiculous thing in the world and they hate it. And they talk about how like, oh, that how terrible the philosophy is in this movie. Uh huh. Some people are on that side of the fence and other people are too far on the other side of the fence where they love the philosophy. And 
I think the point is somewhere in the middle. I think so. Like in that regard, you it kind you kind of mold it to what your life is like now. Agree. Yeah. Deep yeah. shit. Love it. <laughs> the, uh, the important thing is that don't watch Fight Club and think, "Oh, I'm going to start a Fight Club." That's yo, I, not. I, I think that's, that's pretty evident that of, that was. I think that's pretty evident that that was. That's not the a lesson no-no. of Fight Club. Yeah. Which is which is the problem that some people have with it is that they are like, oh. This was a good movie. I'm going to live my life by this movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, and don't I do, think any hey film. Kids, hey, kids. Don't do that. Hey, kids. Don't do Fight Club. Don't do Fight Club. <laughs> oh As a piece God. of cinema, you're right. It is. It is decent. But you got to you got to be. You just got to remember. Don't do Fight Club. Yeah. That's uh, all. I just. It's important to say that. So just what Tom was quick, quick but, little, know. quick little CMA. All right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so we. Uh, who's who's next? Who's our next felon? We next on the list we have uh, Petey Pablo Escobar. Okay, so Petey Pablo Escobar uh, was sued by clubgoers nationwide when they broke their backs uh, dancing, freaking, and leaking to his to sick, mu- sick beats to the music of uh, Casey Anthony Kiedis and and. We're trying to link them. Yeah, so I think, well, so Petey Pablo Escobar was putting out this music. They broke their backs, and R. Kelly Clarkson was like, hey, you know what corrective footwear would help you in physical therapy? This stuff. Yeah. Uh, his her crazy, crazy Crocs. And, but, it, but it was a lie. Yeah. It was fraud. Right. It's you know, what, you know what it's almost sounding like is that we have this hotel where all of this crime happens and like you go from one seminar room to the other, just mm. these people trying to yeah. sell you bullshit. I like that. Oh, okay. So it crime was hotel, a crime hotel, but it's not about the hotel. It's, it's, it's the, uh, the convention that the hotel is housing. Yes. Oh, crime convention, crime convention, which you'd think would deter people. Crime vention, crime vention. If you see crime vention, 2019, you think people would, you not partake, but it's surpri- it sold surprisingly well. It's white collar crime, man. White, co- yeah. White I'm all about the full, white collar, full collar houses. Crime. What? <laughs> what? Full houses? That's not a. I mean, that's a. I do, I just like, don't like, understand like, what like, you're like, saying. Like packed rooms. Oh, okay. For I these thought symposiums. I thought you're trying to connect like the TV show White Collar to the TV show Full House, and I was like, what? Uh, we can. Burn Notice. Oh, why do we always end up at Burn Notice? <laughs> T, did you watch Burn Notice? I did not, no. Okay, because I haven't either, but I just remember... I watched White Collar. Yes, agree. I, wa- I watched White Collar. I thought it was very good, and then it just abruptly went away. It was a good show. It was a good show! Jim, you haven't watched White Collar. No, I, um, I think I think my favorite part about that show, and it's probably where the show jumped the shark, was when they had to find all that those Nazi paintings. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might have been the uh the nail in the coffin, but you also think? probably the best the best storyline. Nazi show. submarine that you thought that was a bit of a stretch. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, and but uh, you know, I don't U-boats. <laughs> it's just how much <laughs> That's all I can add to this. You said Nazi submarine, so I said U-boats because they're the same thing. Very good. History. <laughs> I've never watched White Collar. I imagine it's about Men in suits. It's about men in suits. Matt Bomer which, wears which, many suits. Which I mean, funnily enough. Oh, is that the show Matt Bomer's on? Yeah. Your, Bomer. Your, your beautiful boy. Matt Bomer. Matt Bomer. Most most attractive man in the universe. I he think is. this I think this next person might have a Ma- s- some disagreement Ooh, with you. Okay. Oh, who is it? Uh we have uh Jackie Channing Tatum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love these names so much. Jackie Too Channing. handsome. That's what he went to jail That's for. That's the crime. Too mm-hmm. handsome. Could not. Ev- too gorgeous. Ev- everyone that looked at him was like, oh, it's too beautiful. And they like followed him. And so he accidentally started a cult. Yeah. They were. They and... would be hit in the face by his beauty. But then he would actually go into kung fu mode and hit them in the face with his right. fist. So he sounds like the muscle guy. Yeah. He oh, sound- yeah. He was he, the he's... muscle guy. Mm-hmm. He was both the muscle guy and the face. Like if, like if this was the A team, he would have been face. But then he also would have been. One of the other ones. I only know the one of the guy's name was Face. So yeah, him and him and Jesse James Gandolfini are the muscle guys. Oh, very that, good. That's what I'm thinking here. Yeah, yeah. They're the two lackeys. Yep. Jesse James Gandolfini though is the one that's like like very like the very big one. You know how like every like the quintessential henchman. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Or there's like how there's always a big guy and a small guy. Right, exactly. It's like, yeah. it's like almost comical. Like right he there. was the big guy. And then the and then the smaller handsome one was uh Jackie Chan. Jackie, Jackie Chan Channing Tatum. Tatum. But yeah. he's about as small as Jackie Chan, but as like buff and buff handsome as, as Channing, Channing Tatum. Tatum. Yeah. That would give Matt Bomer a run for his money, I must say. Absolutely. Interesting. Um, I wonder what a face swap would look like. We could pull one oh up for you. God. But does he have more of the face of Jackie Chan? Or Ch- is this just Channing Tatum with the martial arts ability of Jackie Chan? Or have I there- think it's a. I think it it could be, but it's also a a, a wholly different third person. <laughs> you have to imagine which parts of which guy you want to. It's not going to look like either of them. <laughs> I'm just imagining down the middle. Because then you get confused. <laughs> Jackie with- Chan and Channing Tatum like it was a bad science experiment. And they were sewn together, and that's not an attractive man. No, no, that's, that's something uh, <laughs> science something should entire. never pursue. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good, it's a good name, though. I think it's Jackie a great Chan, name, Jackie and Chan I think like we're, we are building towards a podcast where we, where week by about week about this beautiful crime syndicate. Yeah, week by week, we can do a hard dive into each one of these folks. True crime. Yep. True crime we haven't style. had a true crime podcast. Serial, yet. serial. I was just thinking yeah, serial. Definitely. How about that? Oh, that that's it's really actionable. T, you're knocking it out of the park today. We're just getting started. I think we 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 should have like a what is it? Got, we got to have like this has got to be like a like a five parter, like a five parter about Limited this series. crime syndicate. Yeah, we, yeah. This one would have seasons. I always think excluding the, excluding are. this one because this is just us developing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is this is this is our development. This isn't even a pilot. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can this we can a... try and make a pilot, but do we want to do that need, right now, or we do need, we? We need music first. Do we flesh out more? Care? Okay. And then I need to think about how serial starts, and also what's the name for this podcast? I liked Crime Vention. Oh, that's Crime Vention. Crime Vention was yes. pretty good. Serial music is dun 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 and then like season three is like bump. Yeah. I mean it wasn't quite that, but yeah. No, you know what I'm talking. That's not that's supposed to like remind you of the song. That's not a carbon copy, clearly. Because I don't beatbox. We I I don't want to get too far into making the pilot until we've heard till we've met all the All the characters. All the characters. And like so who's who's investigating? Mm, yes. who, who's a detective in, okay so i've got a couple names for that could be you know we were going to try to assign all these people crimes but now i've got na- names that we could use as heroes great let's go um so we have how about george harrison ford oh yes 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 yep that's it that's our that's, that's our protagonist that's the, that's the investigator yep george harrison ford that we sit down with every week and we say what have you got this week george he says, "Well, here's what I found." He's gonna. Stop. But I, I think George Harrison Ford, though, like any good cop, any good investigator, grizzled PI, needs a vice. He does. But wait, George Harrison? That's one of the Beatles. Right? It is. Yeah. So, <laughs> is he gonna? He's gonna sound like Harrison Ford, but he's English. Never tell me the odds. That's no. That's not his voice. Um, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think, I think you don't get a George Harrison. You're starting voice to sound like Mel Gibson in Mad Max with that. <laughs> Mel we're getting we're getting Australian here. Yeah, um, uh, because you know there's well, there's Paul McCartney, and then there's like John Lennon, but you don't really have a George Harris. I never, I'm I've never heard George, George Harrison's, Harrison's voice. Never speak, spoke. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a silent cop. Um, I just want to do a British voice with a bunch of Harrison Ford lines. If George Harrison's never spoken before, then yeah, that would... Get off my plane. <laughs> Get off of my plane. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of other Harrison Ford lines. What was it like? Was there a quintessential Blade Runner line that he had? As someone who's Not, never seen Blade Runner, I would say T no. would know. There's no... No. Except in the beginning when they try to arrest him or bring him in and he's just like, I'm eating. <laughs> I'm eating. Eating here. <laughs> Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So maybe his vice is, it's got to be music related. Oh, I was going to say that he just loves food too much. <laughs> He's not, eating all not, over the crime that's scene. Not a, that's not a pull from George Harrison or Harrison Ford. <laughs> that's just 
It's just a funny vice. So he's contaminating and the crime scene things. with like a bunch like of like always, chili dogs. He's always and... got a bag of chips. <laughs> yeah. Like he carries a can of Pringles around and he just like <laughs> like he some. like he's eating a chili dog and it gets into the wound. <laughs> and now you can't <laughs> he's eating. He's Test chili the blood. Dog. Is this Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, Sonic loves chili dogs. I for, I didn't know that about Sonic. That's from the old Sonic cartoon from the 90s. Huh. Where he was voiced by who? Julia White. Okay. AKA Urkel. <laughs> wow. That is something I did not know. <laughs> well, I'm glad I know this. Did yeah. he like... And he was, loved chili dogs. Did the like, chili dogs... love chili dogs. Did chili dogs like... Did they think that would make fuel for like a supersonic being? No. A lot of carbs in chili dogs. A lot of beans. A lot of carbs. Not chili keto dogs. friendly. I'm sure Sonic was not on the keto diet. No. Or maybe like he was able to eat junk food because he just burned it off so damn fast. I mean, he's got to go fast. So we have <laughs> George Harrison Ford. And Does his he in... sidekick Sonic? <laughs> okay. I was going to ask if he needed a partner. I think Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. Hedgehog. Yep. Okay. Wait, hold on. Are we just making the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie? One can. Hope. Well, no. I think I think we're ripping off Detective Pikachu though. Yeah. See, I think we're getting to this. Is Ryan Reynolds going to voice Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah, no. We it can. Or we can. Uh, Jill White needs work. Yeah, fair. We could probably get him for this. Could Big we, fans. Could we get Steve Harvey? Oh. To voice to voice Sonic the Hedgehog? I don't know how to do a Steve Harvey voice, but... Oh, hey there, player. <laughs> it's a little soft-spoken for Steve Harvey. It is I a little soft-spoken. He's a little... Uh, I'm, I, oh, I, I kind of went with Keenan's. Uh, Keenan Steve Harvey. Keenan Steve Harvey, but I kind of went Keenan's uh, Charles Barkley instead. Yeah, Keenan Thompson Steve Harvey on SNL. I just remember there was a skit where he he just comes out. Hey, hey, hey! You want to know how many buttons are on this suit? Fifty. <laughs> and I don't know why that was funny to me. <laughs> that, that's the only line I recall. Fifty, and I still say the number fifty like that. Uh, <laughs> So we have. So is Steve Harvey on the podcast or not? Well, I had Steve Harvey Keitel. Okay. Who 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 should be the police chief? Yep. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This he, is, he oversees George Harrison Ford. Keeps him. In, tries to keep him. He, I'm imagining George he, Harrison Ford is a loose cannon on. Yeah. The so he's the guy that says "turn in your badge and gun" like 47 <laughs> times <Yeah>. an episode. <laughs> And George Harrison Ford has an endless supply of badges and guns, and he just keeps turning them in yeah, week after week, but that doesn't stop him. It's, it's like an airplane when the eggs just keep coming out. He's just pulling out badges and guns. <laughs> okay, but we haven't we haven't found the fatal flaw of, of George, George Harrison, Harrison Ford. Ford. No, we he haven't. too many Pringles and chili dogs. Right. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, shit. Sorry. Overeating. So is he not a fit man? We'd say he's... He's put on a few pounds. We can say that if you'd like. Yeah. Just trying to trying to visualize him in my mind. He's probably what Nick Nolte looks like now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Because I, 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 he, I think I saw a movie with him last night. And he looked like he let himself go <laughs> a lot. And that, okay. was, and that movie came out about six years ago. Have we ever seen an overweight Harrison Ford? No. No. So we're breaking new ground. With this podcast. Yes. Just with his body composition alone. I love it. Um, okay. Who else? We Who else? Cast of characters, T. Who else do we got? I have a few more. I don't know if they're all necessary, but we I can, believe that we can are. go through the names. Oh, we can find we can find a, a role for them. They're definitely necessary. I think we can go back to the cr- crime syndicate because we're talking. I guess we're talking about white collar crime. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. this guy has a name that would have to do with art mm-hmm. and music both. Uh, we have Michael Jackson Pollock. Ah! That's a very good name. Very good. Did you come up with this game all by yourself? This is just something you felt like this meshing is, together? I, I don't think this is something... I, I, I kind of stole the concept from Wheel of Fortune. You know the... Oh, you know, uh, yeah, like before and after. Before and after. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Michael Jackson Pollock. He's he, the syndicate's graphic designer. <laughs> the graphic. The gra- yeah. He does all their Facebook campaigns. <laughs> The Instagram posts, but I still hope he goes hee hee like when he's like has a really good idea. Yeah, yeah. We need the hee hee in there. He, he's the guy that just pops up randomly when and they're all sitting around the conference table with their heads like this when he shows up. He moonwalks Face into the in room, their hand, and they're like, "Not this guy again." <laughs> I I would just like to point out that I think it's so funny that you have decided that these people are just just the two people mentioned. 
smushed together. <laughs> like it's just you took Michael Jackson, and you took Jackson Pollock, and you just pushed them together, and what and what would come out? Like if you put them both into like you know one of those play doh machines, yeah, yep, that like just pushes out play doh. Yes. Like you just push, you put them both in there, and you smush them together. And whatever comes out. <laughs> Is Michael Jackson? Yeah, Pollock. well, we established at the top that I left my brain at home and just brought my sense of humor. So I'm going for the lowest hanging comedy fruit. That's true. <laughs> it, is it dangerous to have this guy, Michael Jackson Pollock, part of a crime syndicate that deals with brainwashing children? Uh, That's why he only does PR. Yeah, they, they they keep him in a. He's I, an outside contractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he like, doesn't deal with you know, merchandise. yeah, like he doesn't Meaning shoes. The he does, children are not merchandise. <laughs> he doesn't the hang. Children are just there. They're there making the merchandise. Yes, I they're think making we're... the merchandise. Yeah, he doesn't hang at the layer. He's like that character that's always about town and stops by like here and there. He gives them like the skivvy on what's going on with the outside world, mm-hmm. sort of thing. Maybe he's like also their tech guy because we don't have a tech person yet. Uh, in the mix, I don't think, right? No, I may have a name. Oh, uh, for, for I for the for the tech person, for the tech nerd at the computer. Yes, we have uh, Billy the Kid Gates. Yes, I was gonna go with Pico's Bill Gates, but I like that one better. Uh, <laughs> oh man, Billy the Kid, obviously one of the most famous gunslingers in the West. Um, mm-hmm. but he's the tech nerd. But this guy whips out code like it's no tomorrow. Yes. He's a hacker. Such a such a good hacker. No, I'm I'm trying how, to How are we going to represent hacking on our Oh, well, it's a podcast so I can keyboard guess clicks. You just hear the keyboard clicks. You don't have to see the bogus screens. <laughs> you ever like see like videos that talk about the way people made hacking look in the 90s? No. And how it like looks like total bullshit. What? With just like flurries of lines yeah it's just like a bunch of like flashing images and then like they like click something like 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 seth green in the italian job yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like they just like click one button and they're like oh i'm in now (laughs) what what does it actually look like mr billy the kid gates it looks pretty boring really (laughs) so it's a good thing we don't have to show it we can just play the click (laughs) click 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 clicking and we only have to play like the last two seconds of it as opposed to like the the days and days that probably go into it beforehand. Mm-hmm. I think he's kind of the wild card because he like feels like he could do so much more with his life. But you he's, think he's playing both sides? Eventually, he might come to that. Uh, he's the one that's going to flip for sure. Yeah. yeah. Eventually, yeah. not right out of the gate. Can we just? I'm still hung up on Michael Jackson Pollock. Can he also just have like a career of like moonlighting at clubs and just still performing, a la the Michael Jackson half? But he, but because he's also, but what if he was doing like a, like a Gallagher thing where he's like singing and entertaining on stage, but he's also like throwing paint splatter at the (laughs) canvases and at the audience Yep, and And creating a work of art that he then sells on the dark web. See, I think, um, because thanks to Billy the Kid Gates. Very good. Yeah, I'm for it. Yeah. But I think his, um, his paint materials are suspect. Oh yeah, poison paint. He uses a lot of whites and browns. If you know what I mean. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. I thought it was gonna be poison paint, lead paint. No, I think I think yeah, Mike. It's it's very. <laughs> it's gross. It's very hey, biological. Man, what's wh- who? Who are we to judge art? You know, stranger things have happened. Right. That's how they did the Metallica covers for really? Load and Reload. Did they really? Yeah. Huh. I don't know if you guys talked about this with... Uh, no, we didn't. No, it didn't with, come with, up with Peach. With the official uh, Metallica guru, but yeah, that's how they did the album covers for wow. Load and Reload. Okay. Gross. Biodegradable paints. And there was there was blood involved, but we're, we won't. <laughs> was it their own? I don't know. Because that would be really committing. It would be. I'm sure there are artists that commit that hard... So You're this gonna go. You got this go crime. All the way. So the podcast is called Crime Vention. The Crime Syndicate. Did they have a really cool name? Fusion. They are known as Fusion. Get it? Because all the characters are fusions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Good point. Or, uh, or we should. Uh, what's a? Um, what if they continuously argued about it? <laughs> they could never decide. 
Yep. They so, can. which helps because, like, when the cops are trying to figure out who's doing this, all these different names are being floated about, and yeah. they can't know. Like, it's almost like you know the artist formerly known as Prince, the crime syndicate formerly known as Fusion, but now they want to be known as Polymer. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> My other idea was like take like two famous crime syndicates and put them together like the mafia and the yakuza so that the mafuza mafuza is good i was gonna say the yakuza yakuza but Mafusa. but i kind of like yours better mafuza <laughs> <laughs> i just imagine the logo has a mustache i like it definitely a, a big giant bushy mustache and maybe like one of those shriner hats yeah like a fez, a fez. yeah <laughs> It's just a silhouette of a mustache and a fez. And a fez. <laughs> wow, beautiful. <laughs> and what a concept. And I imagine that Martha, what was it, Martha's... Martha Stewart Copeland? She, like, wears the fez and the fake mustache at every meeting. <laughs> yeah. Because I think she's the only lady thus far. Uh, well, we, we weren't sure of the, uh, of the um, biological sex of R. Kelly Clarkson. Right, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's so progressive or, that we have a lady leading this gang of... Yeah. We also had Ka- we also had Casey event. Anthony Kiedis. We d- oh, okay. The future the future is female. It is female, as is Mafusa. Uh, alrighty then. I I think that is a good first whiteboarding session. Yeah, a great first whiteboarding session of oh gosh, what did we call it? Crime vention. Crime vention. I like it. Any we'll final- have to call up um. Sarah Koenig? Serial girl, yes. Sarah, Sarah Koenig. Sarah Koenig, yes. I'm sure she. this is what she re- wants to report on. I'm sure. Next. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I, yeah. had a f- I had a few other names. We don't have to add them to the crime syndicate, but... Oh, the l- lightning round, oh, go. Oh, yeah, let's lightning. just rattle them off. R- roll right. it, rolling out the cast, or uh, rounding out the cast. There was are... also Lil John Dillinger. Oh, good. And Larry David Berkowitz. Wait, the Berkowitz part escapes me. He was this. He was a serial killer. He was a bad guy. Okay. Um, but I have two more names that I would like to direct at each one of you. Go for it. I want. I want this to be just a soul. I'm going to ask Jim one, and I'm going to ask you the other. Okay. And I want you to tell me. I want just without just first thing that comes to your mind. What's this person going to jail for? Um, Jim, what is Joseph Andrew Godley going to jail for? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible ideas. Oh, damn! Savage got him. Can you arrest intellect? <laughs> you can now. Can you can? You can in this in this post-apocalyptic future we're coming up with. <laughs> this dystopian future we're coming up with. Oh my god! You absolutely god. can. And um, Joe, what is uh Jim Joseph Bloss going to jail for? <sighs> He's going to jail for uh, refusing to uh, go along with my ideas in this future. I am the law. I was gonna, and I'm putting him right to jail. I was <laughs> going to say eating too much pizza. Is that a crime? It sounds like there's a bit of like creative tension here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tension's good, though. I'm wondering where this is all coming from. <laughs> well, they'll have to listen to next week when we address the address those very tensions. In the meantime, I want to thank Tom Dragani a million times over for coming on with it was, this refreshing it was, it was re- take. It was really fun. Dude, that was awesome. I I look forward that was a to fun, the, that was a fun game. I look forward to the next one. All I'm right. gonna come up with more names. More names, more games. Tune in next week. Thanks for listening, Mom. We love you. Bye, and Mom. goodbye. Bye, love Mom. You. We love you. I don't need your mile long bridge. Williamsburg is too expensive. Fuck the A-Train Am I insane? No, I'm just never